All right, who is the ruler of this world? In John chapter 12, now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. In John chapter 16 of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. So who is this ruler of the world? So we read here in Revelation 12, and she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto heaven, or unto God, and to his throne. So in John chapter 12, it says, Now is the judgment of this world, now the ruler is cast out. So we can determine by reading this that Jesus is the ruler, and that Jesus will be cast out, and that uh, he has been judged. Okay, so there's a problem. What's the problem here? What's going on? Why is there, what's happening here? We got to fix this, don't we? Well, let's look a little closer to this, okay? All right, so obviously this is correct. Who was talking about Jesus? Okay, she brought forth a man child, she being Mary, right? Who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child, Jesus, was caught up into God and to his throne. So let's go back here. What in the world is this talking about? Now is the judgment of this world now. Jesus will be cast out? No. That can't be right. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Is Jesus the ruler of this world? Yes, he is. So why is the New King James Version saying... That's the prince of this world, which is talking about Satan, will be cast out. Why is the New King James Version replacing Jesus with Satan as the ruler of this world? Um, obviously, it's very, very corrupt. Okay, again, here in John 14, I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. And he has nothing in me. But what's the King James say? The King James says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. The prince of this world doesn't mean he's the ruler of this world. Right? Because Jesus Christ is the ruler of this world. Right? And then again in John chapter 16 of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged now that's that's a damning statement that's very bad that's very bad so in the king james it says of judgment because the prince of this world is judged all right satan is not the ruler of this world he's the prince of this world in the sense that he is uh the prince of the he's the chief of uh, the wicked right he's not the ruler of the world at all all right, and then again, I think in uh, Revelation 19, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And we can also read in, um, I think it's Isaiah 60, maybe I could be, no, Isaiah 9, isn't it? I don't know. Let's find out. There it is. Isaiah 9. For unto us a child is born, unto us a child is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. All right. And so there's a big difference between the ruler of this world and the prince of this world. All right, Jesus is the ruler of this world. Satan is the prince of this world. Huge difference.